hi uh, welcome back to my channel so today i'll be doing a uh, another review it is a disney movie and i am going to be reviewing the movie um Cinder cinderella cinderella come on sleeping beauty how's it i don't know i was looking at anyway so i'm having a thing with it. i'm reviewing sleeping beauty not cinderella okay guys sleeping beauty so as you all know the story pretty obvious um and the king and queen they have a child a daughter called aurora and the, the the villain comes in the queen or whoever says um oh when she's 16 she's gonna hit a bindle and she'll fall asleep and um and she you know you, you get the idea this it was one of the movies of my childhood, as I said in my video last week. It is one of the movies of my childhood. So it was um it was great re watching rewatching it again and just reliving my childhood again and just it was just an awesome movie. I just forgot how it was forgot how it was made. It's just one of those classic Disney movies that everyone knows with the like the um with the with the animation and everything i believe this version is the um the one i have the dvd copy i have is the um remastered version so yeah so that was great so the picture was really clear and everything as i was saying this is the remastered version version that i have so the picture quality is so much clearer that, that you would as if it was a uh, on the um the blu-ray version so that was awesome as well with um that part okay so disney got them on that part so that was really good as well so now time for some facts so the running gag where the two fairies argued about which color princess of Aurora's dress should be in pink or blue that comes from the filmmakers problem as to design which color it should be um, Princess Aurora, Aurora's long, thin, willowy body shape was inspired by um, that of Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn. Uh, so the last fairy tale produced by the studio was the, the Little Mermaid, which was 30 years later. Uh, so in the traditional Italian version of the fair, this fairy tale, Sleeping Beauty is named Princess Aurora. In the German version, she is named Briar Rose. In the film, they incorporated both names as for having put to the royal use Brian Rowe's name under cover. So uh, even though it's not mentioned in the film, Maleficent's pet raven is Diablo. Okay, one of the first iconic scenes where Brian Rose meets Prince Philip uh, for the first time or to the tune of Once Upon a Dream was called Sequence 8 when it was being produced. It was particularly hard, hard cigarettes to get right, and Walt Disney rejected it a number of times. And ultimately had to be done four times, almost bankrupting the studio during the process. So there is a hidden Mickey. When the fairies discuss how to help the king and queen make the Mary Weather makes a sh cookie shape in the form of Mickey Mouse. So this is the second highest grossing film of 1959 due to its re-releases just behind Ben-Hur. Um, the first Disney animated film on which Walt Disney were personally worked on to be released in high definition. So Walt took Disney's constant mantra to his animators was that the film could not be like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So Ben Shirley and Mary Cost auditioned together to ensure that their voices complemented each other. So th this is the only Disney movie with square trees. Uh, so the this is the first Disney animated feature to be created ostensibly for the 17 mil format. This 
despite uh, despite being the movie based on Aurora or Sleeping Beauty, she only says about 18 lines in the whole movie. So for several years, it was largely unknown who voiced the Queen Leah, Aurora's mother, due to her being uncredited. Her lines were recorded by Vernon. Verna Felton, who I believe was one of the fairies, which was which one? I'll check for you. I'm being deep, it's really good. So yeah, there she is. Uh, she played Flora. She was credited as Flora. So yeah, so that is all for my review for today. I'll see you next week with a new review. I'll see you then. Bye.